That's where the general's general is at. It is unwise to praise the day before Hoping sunset. To rout them. But our men are winning the battle and Coming forging okay. a worthy victory. I don't want to keep my general too far ahead of his this army, but it's kind of hard to get a big overview to find out where the remainder of their troops are. There we go. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless. Actually, got 95% before the battle was over, which is pretty impressive. Usually, they uh, route way before that, so that is uh, impressive by the Spanish army. I'm gonna end this right away because Lichi or Luchi, whatever his name is, is a very uh, chivalrous guy, and uh, he's not gonna chase down routers and uh, just for the sake of capturing them. That's not a very chivalrous thing to do. So he's gonna end it right here. And this is actually true. By ending the battle and not pursuing, you gain more chivalry. By pursuing, you gain more dread. Uh, we lost as little as. Uh, 375 men, they lost a thousand. Very, very acceptable. They got 49 men, plus the 145, no, 114 prisoners we caught. We're gonna release them. Another thing to add to his chivalry, get it up even higher. And, um, yeah, that's about it. We're not gonna make much money off of 112 units anyway. But this battle was very successful, we uh, killed their entire army, we didn't lose too many men, and we got the general. I didn't think we would get the general. I didn't think we would get the entire army, I thought they would rout before that, but... Yes. <sighs> A lot of camp sacked here, apparently. Captain Pero. A most honorable victory, my it was, Lord, in fact, an honorable an victory. I'm gonna merge these two guys together and I'm not sure if I want to merge anything else right now. No, it's fine. Noble Lord. And now we are gonna lift the siege uh, siege of uh, Zaragoza. By the way, do you remember this guy? He was yes, the chosen one and now he's a uh, cardinal. I might send him on a ship down to the south yes, to convert in there as well. Your orders, noble one. We will engage them honorably, my So lord. danger averted here. And we're gonna free the city. Night fight here will be a bad idea because that means the Russell Parta won't be able to join us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh what does Volparta have again? I don't remember. Name thy enemy, Lord. I'm gonna allow, allow this army to be controlled by the AI. He actually now has seven in command, doesn't need the night attack to get that. Now he gets eight attacks. So he gained one attack or one command from the battle against the uh, Castile, was it? His name was? But yeah. Enemy is going to be controlled by the AI. And I will be able to give them some commands. That's what that is, I almost forgot. Like if they're gonna play defensively, aggressively, or something like that. Uh, also, another thing, Rosso Volpato. He is the Lord High Marshal, which gives him additional command. I intend to strip him of that title and pass it on to Lichi. <laughs> I don't think anyone will disagree with me that Lichi is much more deserving of the title Lord High Marshal. I am told that the enemy have brought their strumpets with them. Good! We will need entertainment after the battle! Okay, here we are. Like they're coming towards us now. Fall back. Uh, what I've done, I just moved over here, uh, started firing a bit, a bit, uh, a bit at them, trying to provoke them.
to move. Something I feel I've been successful in right now. As it seems they are in fact moving. Uh, and also while Pato has taken up a position here. The idiot, however, had his men run from all the way from this side of the map to... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> all the way here, so they're all tired. But I got them on defensive stance, so they're not going to engage yet. But I might do th something about that pretty soon. They have a few... Uh, ah, what do you call it? Ballistas as well, but not as success successful as mine, it seems. We caught... 6% of their armies, they got zero bars. They got maybe two or three of our guys, but I mean, the only target they got to fire at is the crossbowmen, while we have their entire army. So, of course, we're gonna get more men. Let's try and hit some of the more knights. Uh, they do have archers, though, okay. They're on this side, so maybe if we go a bit more here. Far and if they charge, we'll counter charge with a cavalry, and we have cavalry to support on this side as well. Okay. I'm just worried about the ballistas firing at our troops. So I don't want that for obvious reasons. Well, that was a good one, I think. I don't know, actually. Gotta speed it up a bit. Oh, here they go. Aggressive stance. Old Pato is gonna charge. I'm guessing he's gonna have all these men run. They're gonna skirmish away. Which is fine, because we're gonna counter charge these guys instead. Well, at least fire at them. We'll pincer them in. You guys will just fall back. I really like having our cavalry pincered in like this. The battle is in our favor. But now they pull if back. We remain true and we're gonna hearted. pull back. Victory as well. will be ours. Oh shit! Don't hit us with the backs. I'm gonna rush in as quick as possible. Do we get our men out of there? No. Pull out. We were up for flanking action. Seriously though, pull out of that. Oh, they're crushing us. This kind of cavalry fight. We'll pins them in here. Good. These are free. Ceasefire Ballista. Pato. Yeah, we got these guys. They're broken anyway. The battle is in our favor. If we remain Take true, out the Ballista. The, the enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. We lost as many as 14% here. And a bit of a weird advance. Converge on the heavy infantry. And chase down the routers. It's no problem with chasing down routers right now, Praise but now it's a problem <laughs> chasing down routers. So must now we got ended. Our advantage. So I, I should have chased down as many routers as possible before this, but now I got ended. Well, I don't have to end it, but I want to play on uh, Lichy's chivalry. The victory we have won therefore, I'm going to end it. We lost 153 men. Lost 71. And they got a portion of their army left. Okay. Kind of upset that uh, we didn't get to pull back. Yes, yes. Pull back with um, uh, cavalry, but. God That's okay. Because in the end, we got Don't this place stop. free. 
so it goes up. And I'm actually going to move straight towards Pamplona. Just going to reinforce Lord. the army a bit. We can do that next turn. Your orders, Noble One. First of Noble, all, Rosa Volpato is going to take a visit. Yes, and um, a huge fighting force. I think I've shown this Command. before, but this is also how you move, move um, titles. Move like this, and bam! Your orders, Noble One. Pietro Lice is now the Lord High Marshal. The stoic, disciplined leader of His Majesty's army. One plus command, one commanding infantry. So that won't play into part now, but as soon as he's attacking and commanding infantry, he will gain a uh, trait. And he also dislikes the Leonese. That's what he got from fighting the bridge battle. Ah, so that's why he got one more command start. And he's also Duke of Granada, even though Granada is no longer ours. Oh well. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is what I don't like. Most of the Italian sit settlements, uh, you get the governorship, but it uh, reduces your command skill. So that's not so good. Tax farmer. Mm. Lichi, PT. Yeah, I could sacrifice PT. Uh, I'll give him the astrologer as well. Uh, which apparently gives him one plus in command. That is impossible. Okay, that's impossible. It seems. No path there, my lord. No, not able to do that. But he's now the Lord High Marshal. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yes, moving Russell Pato back. Yes, marching. Orders. So moving there. We're not going to be able to move yet. One. Uh, Make but camp, men. We rest here. I'll put him in into Noble the city Lord. so he can rest there. <laughs> Divide the forces, your and I'll kick this guy out to make, make sure that this back. army doesn't go rebel, which is a possibility. Forces, it is Lord. a possibility. Let's see, do we have any, have any free ships? Yes, here? my lord. Your orders? Yeah, we're yes, gonna transport. A cardinal. Give him some more PT so that lord, maybe one orders? day he might be. Uh, Something more than just a cardinal. Not in course now, my lord. If you know what I mean. Dropping anchor until morn. These guys. Yes. As my lord wills, we march to battle. Can't attack him apparently, or no. Yala, my sultan wishes you. Yes, lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Unless no, it's not possible. Talk is cheap. Come face me. But yeah, that's it for Sargosa. Name the field of battle. We will meet you there. We'll retrain a few guys. Yeah. I'm just gonna take care of some uh, management management of the Republic and I'll see you once the turn is ready to end. The Moors have offered a ceasefire, it seems. Uh, I ended the turn, you see, and they offered a ceasefire. I'm not gonna accept that. So far, things are going well for us. Huh, look at this, it's really chivalrous. Okay, um... My price for ceasefire is actually quite expensive. I would require... Um, what should I require? This one is the eastern one, yeah. That is our price. Mm. We can pay 2500, uh, What's what do you say about that? No. Any region you would give? Respawn? No? Well, I don't really think we're gonna have a ceasefire, gentlemen. I'm not gonna <laughs> pay you for that region, we're gonna take it by force. Is the generosity of the Sultan not good enough for you? He was offended. I oh, was a bit harsh with him, uh, I suppose. But I'm not uh, done with the Moors yet. We're gonna take out the Aragonese, strengthen our position, and then we're gonna push south through both Leonese and uh, Aragonese lands. Uh, the former being the biggest problem, it seems, because you see that 
we have two captains who have the march towards towards uh, Saragossa. Captain Ramiro and Captain Arias are ready to deal another blow against us. <coughs> Our newly uh, appointed uh, Lord High Marshal will uh, deal with them now. <coughs> 